Good evening, and welcome to the 2021 State of School Address. I'm John Klingstead, Interim Head of School, and I'll be our host this year. Reflecting on our journey since the global pandemic entered, I'm reminded of Luke 648, about building our, our life on the foundation of Jesus Christ. And while it has been a challenging time, by God's grace, it has been very rewarding as well. We were not only able to survive the crisis, but to thrive during this season. Please join me in a moment of prayer as we thank God for his providence. Father God, we do praise you for what has happened this year at PCA. We thank you for your love, your provision, your safety, and we continue to pray for our students that we would be a school about making disciples and that you would be glorified in all we do. We thank you for our families and we thank you for our teachers. Continue to bless them and go before them. In Jesus' name, amen. I heard of a school recently who said their goal was to survive during COVID. While survival is necessary, it can't be our single focus or our goal. Our goal must be so much more than that. The goal of PCA is to make disciples. COVID was just a unique challenge to overcome. It didn't change our goal. As we push to that goal, I continue to be inspired by the faculty of PCA who on a daily basis adjust, adapt, taking on extra work, all because they love the students. Let's take a moment to enjoy a few highlights in the life of our school. Last year, during the 2019-2020 school year, it was an exceptional year at PCA, but also a year of transition. Dr. Larry Taylor had announced that he had accepted the privilege of serving as the president of the Association of Christian Schools International. PCA also celebrated his investment in PCA through 20 years of faithful service. It was a year of transition, but also continued excellence. We were able to open the Plano Campus Renovated Fine Arts Center and the brand new middle school. And on the North Campus, we broke ground on our new classroom building. The biggest transition happened in the spring, right as our students were returning from Minimester. We and the rest of our community and world faced a global pandemic. Prestonwood Christian Academy had to adjust to offsite learning. And thanks to our dedicated staff, we did so quickly. The best news of that time was the continued excellence in academics. Future Problem Solvers International competition went virtual, and PCA students won honors in both state and international competitions. The FPS coach, Ms. Shannon Lichty, received high honors and was named a recipient of the Keith Frampton Award for teaching students to think critically and creatively for over 25 years. Dr. Ron Moss was named an honorary lifetime member for the Texas Association for College Admission Counseling to recognize his inspired leadership in the college admissions process. One indicator of excellence was our advanced placement results. This is a college credit marker. PCA test scores once again hit the 86% pass rate, which is well above the local, state, and national pass rates. We were thankful to celebrate the class of 2020 with an on-site graduation, and we'll remember them as a resilient overcoming group. They exhibited remarkable flexibility and resilience throughout the school year, and they garnered 13.2 million in scholarship offers, bringing the total scholarship offered since 2002 to 140 million. PCA's National Merit Scholars passed the 100 student mark of those recognized as National Merit Commended or Finalist Scholars. Our theater department was able to present their first black box theater production in the spring, Silent Sky. In May, the Fine Arts Awards Night was presented as a Facebook Live premiere event. Kingdom Athletics continued to build character. Athletes were celebrated through virtual signings, social media events, and year-end virtual award ceremonies. The year was not easy, but we were very proud of our students who did not fall behind, but pushed on to make sure they met all of their learning objectives. And that brings us to this year. Words like unprecedented, synchronous learning, pivot, adaptive, took over our language. We led the way in plans to open in person, knowing how important community, 
and relationships are to learning. We were able to open on time with a complete schedule. We also added staff to give remote learning options to be prepared for every need. This school year is off to a great start with a very healthy re-enrollment rate from last year, 92%. It has led us to a record enrollment on our two main campuses with over 1,650 students this year. The King's Academy exceeded their enrollment in their second year of operations with 47 students, and St. Timothy Christian Academy has 25 students this year. Families were offered in-person or remote learning as we began the school year. We're pleased to announce that we have not experienced any learning loss due to the school closures last year or remote learning options this year, and we're meeting all of our accreditation requirements. Originally, almost 90% of our families opted to come on campus for in-person learning. The remaining 10% chose remote learning to meet their educational needs. Each year, PCA has an overarching theme that the students, faculty, and administration embrace. Our focus, or theme, for the 2021 school year has been a focus on what is essential. Essential workers, essential needs, essential priorities. For us, though, essential is based on 1 Corinthians 15, 3 through 5. For what I received, I passed on to you as of first importance, thus essential. And that is the gospel, that Christ died for our sins according to the scripture, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day according to the scripture, and then he appeared to Cephas and then to the Twelve. As Christ's followers, we have hope, hope that is anchored in the certainty of a risen Savior. We look expectantly to him for guidance and wisdom. It is in the certainty of the gospel that we move forward in faith with confidence and assurance. The global pandemic is still here, so things are somewhat different. But student experience remains a priority. We have exercised creativity, a little more this year as we evaluate and redesign events and special occasions. Athletic events took place, but with smaller audience. Every available space is being used to provide socially distanced learning areas. Important events have continued. Things like our New Parent Orientation, Kingdom Parent Institute, the Biblical Worldview Institute, and even a virtual fall play, the importance of being earnest. PCA students continue to excel academically. Join me in congratulating National Merit Commended Scholars, Ishanya Christopher, Brianna Devados, Jack Dunnigan, Blake Jefferson, Marcus Mortensen, Samuel Russell, and National Hispanic Scholars, Micah Oliver and Jack Dunnigan. We value our partnership with you and welcome your feedback because that contributes significantly to our commitment to continued improvement. The results of our most recent re-enrollment survey indicate that 93% of our parents at the Plano campus, with 97% at the North campus, agree or strongly agree that the education offered at PCA is of high quality. 94% of the parents at the Plano campus and 98% of the parents at our North campus agree or strongly agree that they are satisfied with our school. And 95% of our parents overall agree or strongly agree that teachers hold high expectations for student learning. Spiritual development and discipleship are priorities at PCA. According to the re-enrollment surveys last spring, 358 students and 146 parents committed their lives to Christ during this school year. According to the same survey, church involvement, commitment to family, and stronger parenting practices are extended benefits of the ministry of PCA. These results are an encouragement to us and an incentive to be steadfast in our efforts. There is so much good news to share that we can't tell it all here, but each of our divisional principals and the senior leaders of the King's Academy and St. Timothy Christian Academy and PCA Plus Virtual Academy have prepared brief video updates. Please be sure and watch them. You can access them on the State of School webpage. We cannot rest on the past. We push forward to the prize set before us. I have been saddened to hear that some schools are having to reduce their educational quality. They're lowering educational goals, they're decreasing standards and objectives. We cannot fix all of these things on a global basis, but thanks to your partnership, we are on pace. Our students will not have gaps or regressions. They are moving forward, and this is important, not just for learning, but for their emotional health as well. I want to share some news about a project that has been in the works here at PCA for over two years. 
PCA is launching a new school in our system of schools called Prestonwood Christian Academy Hybrid. Our prayer is that this will expand the reach of Kingdom Education. It is a combination of three days a week of on-campus learning and then two days of parent-facilitated learning. PCA Hybrid blends an adapted schedule with PCA's proven academic rigor. The school launching in the fall of 2021 will offer limited grades. Kinder, first, and second grades will be offered in the lower school level, and fifth and sixth grades will be offered at the middle school level. Additional grade levels are planned for future years as the students advance. PCA Hybrid is designed to leverage current educational technology and resources to maximize the effective delivery of content knowledge to students. And this will allow for additional time to be spent on application of learning and higher level thinking. They will be guided by our PCA hybrid teachers. Most importantly, a biblical worldview will be integrated into all aspects of the curriculum and the school culture. We are excited to welcome Prestonwood Christian Academy hybrid into the PCA system of schools to further extend the reach of kingdom education all for God's glory. As we look to the future, our head of school search continues. As we indicated, usually top candidates will be committed to a school for a school year, but we believe we will soon be able to make an announcement and have new leadership in place for the new school year. We know that PCA provides a great quality education, but we do know it requires a great sacrifice for our families. This month, you will be offered a chance to re-enroll for the new school year and we are blessed to share with you that the tuition increase this year will be the lowest in school history. I want to make sure you know that this increase is necessary just to be able to pass along a minimal cost of living raise to our school staff. 70% of our expenditures go directly to personnel cost. They have done an excellent, outstanding job this year, and we need to be able to attract and retain our excellent faculty. The future of Prestonwood Christian Academy will always include a strong commitment to increasing and sustaining accessibility. We understand that for a significant amount of current and prospective families, the cost of PCA is daunting to those who desire a kingdom education. Our planned giving and endowment building strategies will continue to increase in priority, and our tuition assistance fund, our sponsor a child fund, will be a top priority. I am pleased to announce now that this year's Zig Ziglar Servant Leadership Award recipient is a two-time national champion, first round NFL draft pick, the 2007 Heisman Trophy winner. Currently, he is signed to play professional baseball with the New York Mets organization, and he is the founder of the Tim Tebow Foundation. It is none other than Tim Tebow himself, a man who uses his platform for the proclamation of the gospel. Mark your calendars for Sunday, April 11th, 2021. This banquet will be one of the highlights of the school year. Thank you for participating in this year's State of School Address. I realize that you have a choice between many educational options. However, I believe that we provide an educational opportunity that is unique in its mission. For nearly 25 years, Prestonwood Christian Academy has been investing in the lives of our students by preparing them for the future, intentionally building their lives on kingdom foundations and a biblical worldview. For us, it is this depth in learning, this academic challenge that is advancing students academically, spiritually, and in character development so they're equipped for the world ahead and to live lives empowered for Christ. That's why at Prestonwood Christian Academy, it's always more than an education, it's an investment, establishing and preparing your children for the days ahead, a foundation built on the truth of his word for their future. They say few things stand the test of time. Because to stand among and to stand with, to stand in and to stand firm comes down to what you stand for. So we are workers unashamed of the truth and leaders led by our creator. We are servants with an eternal perspective. In heart, in mind, in action. We believe that reaching higher starts by going deeper and that longevity isn't achieved alone. 
We believe that reverence for God is the foundation of wisdom, that champions out there are established in here. It strengthens how we lead, how we invest, how we serve, and how we love. Because that which stands the test of time has a foundation that cannot be moved. Prestonwood Christian Academy, established for life.